Well, good, wonderful, beautiful morning partying. Hey, Fluffy. How's it going, huh? And boop. <laughs> you cracked me up. Uh, it is another beautiful day, and I kid you not, it's 20 degrees colder today than it was yesterday. So crazy, but look, you guys. The leaves are returning. All of the trees are starting to get their leaves. It's starting to look like not so dead around here. Now if only this grass would grow. <laughs> so I spent most of this morning getting my aunt's cottage listed for sale. We're not using a real estate agent. You guys may not know this, but I used to be a real estate agent. I think I said that when I sold my other aunt's house last year. So I kind of know a lot of the ins and outs of how all that stuff works. So we're listing it for sale by owner and I'm actually helping them, helping her to sell the cottage. So we got that listed this morning and now I think I'm gonna head downtown, check the P.O. box, and maybe grab lunch for Jamie and I. What do you think? These girls are like, we just think that it's so much nicer outside today than it was yesterday. I agree, girls, I agree. Our blue apron box just showed up. You know what this means? One, it means thank you to Blue Apron for sponsoring this video, and two, it means Apparently I don't have to figure out what to make for dinner tonight. And three, the first 50 of you that click the link in the video description down below get $50 off your first two weeks of Blue Apron. So then you don't have to figure out what you're gonna make for dinner for like three times in a week either, which is awesome. I haven't opened it yet, I don't know what's in it, but this is what we're gonna make for dinner later and I'm always excited to see what's in there. Like you get a little menu when you go to order it and you can pick, I think there's like six things or so and you can like pick through them and then you can do like the two person plan or the family plan. This time I did the family plan just cause I wanted to see the difference in the box. But anyway, that's coming up in just a little bit. So since Memphis got to go yesterday, I guess I'm gonna take Shelby today. Shelby, do you wanna go do agility? Do you wanna go to the dog park? Yeah. Do you want to go to the dog park? I broke your dog. <laughs> She's kind of crazy. <laughs> what? 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 Tell daddy. Tell daddy. <laughs> I think I broke her. She's like, she knows. Think she knows? Do you know better, huh? Are you going with me? I will take you with me since Memphis went with me yesterday. I guess it's Shelby's turn. All right. Let's go to the dog park, come on. I, she's like, are you lying to me? I think you're lying to me. No, you're really going, let's go. All right, I got Miss Shelby. We're gonna go practice some agility. So I'm at the dog park with Miss Shelby so she can practice some agility tonight. I don't think I'm gonna actually bring Memphis back tonight because we were just here the other day. So I think I'm gonna not bring her back tonight and let this just be a Shelby and I night. And then I'll take all the dogs for a walk later. But I wanted to talk to you guys because some of you asked about how we teach the dogs to weave. So there's multiple different ways that you can do this. You can use these guide wires and usually when you use guide wires, you use a set of straight weave poles. But if you look where I'm standing, you can see how you can like see down the middle of these. These weave poles are actually called channel weaves. So you can actually make them really wide and then bring them together. And there's only six. Normally in a competition, there's 12. There's only six here. So basically what we do is we make them really wide, teach the dogs to run through them, and then slowly bring them closer and closer together. Shelby can do closed weaves. She hasn't done them a lot recently, but she can do them. But this is just one of the methods you can use for training. Or you can do them completely closed and just use the guide wires, which sometimes teaches the dogs to go a little bit slower. I'm gonna leave the guide wires on because some of the dogs are still really learning. Memphis is learning really well with them. Shelby learned really well with them too, but some dogs, the guide wires actually slow down. So we're gonna run around the course a little bit here and uh, let Shelby practice. We've Weave, 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 Thank you. 
Jump, 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 jump. How much of this can we do with a camera in hand? Shelby, jump. Shelby, here. Go tunnel. Tunnel. Good job. Come here. Walk up. Walk up. Come on. You did walk down. Good job. Shelby, go jump. Shelby, go tunnel. It's a little more confusing for her like this. Tunnel, here. Tunnel. Walk up. She's like, I can do that. Walk down. Walk up. Here, walk up. She's like, oh, we're going slow. I can go slow. Walk down. Shelby, here. Jump. Good job. We're not done yet. Here, go to this table. Good job. Sit. Sit on your butt. On your butt. That's your butt. Sit on it. Good job. Okay, you ready? I didn't say go yet. Get up here. Okay. Ready? Jump! But now you gotta go through this tunnel over here. Another tunnel, I know. Tunnel, 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 tunnel. Shelby, weave. She's looking for cookies. Here, Shelby, weave. Weave, 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 yay! See, now she knows she's done. See, so Shelby, unlike Memphis, sit, sit. Shelby knows she's not supposed to get a cookie till, whoops, till she's all done. And then she gets a cookie. <laughs> so I also need to remind you guys, Shelby has been doing this for seven or eight years now. Unlike Memphis, who's only been doing it for what, two years now? Shelby's been doing it a long time. We probably could have competed with Shelby, but we just never did. She's like, there's more cookies in your hand and I know it. Shelby, are you at the dog park? Are you at the dog park? Yeah, you're at the dog park! You want to run around some more? She's like, yes, I do. Ooh, oh man, we have a decision to make. Which one do you want? Ooh. Right? I can't read them upside down. Oh, oh man. Uh, I, I'm, uh, uh, you want the beer and the for a burger? Yeah? It's a barbecue pork burger. There's an egg on that. There is. There's a soft boiled egg on that That's one. That's weird. So we get to choose from barbecue pork burgers, Tokyo beef and rice bowls, or seared chicken <laughs> over Cusco. Oh, you what want do you this think, one? Memphis? You want the burgers, huh? Yeah. She's like, yeah. oh, I like the burgers, please. All right, maybe we'll do the burgers. Burgers? Sure. Deal. All right, yeah. we are gonna make barbecued pork burgers. So first thing is first, we gotta pull out all of the epic ingredients for the barbecued pork burgers. And I know you guys have seen us do some of these blue apron boxes before, and I've probably said this before, but I really do. I love the fact that I don't have to figure out what we're gonna eat for at least three days during the week. I love the fact that it comes right to the door, and I don't have to go shopping for everything, and everything comes with it. So I don't have to like go to the store and get anything additional. It's all right in the box, which is awesome. Anyway, let's make some barbecue pork burgers. How did I know? How did I know you were all gonna be in here waiting? <laughs> So there it is, pre-measured, everything ready for what we need to make these burgers. And also for those of you wondering, yes, the box has like ice and stuff in the bottom so you don't have to worry about everything getting warm. So yeah, they can ship us meat. Let's get to this. I'm excited, are you excited? She's like, I'm only excited if you're dropping stuff. So first, we are preparing some zucchini fries. I have cut the zucchinis up into little fries. I have mixed together the breadcrumbs, the seasoning, the cheese, and now we're gonna crack this egg, put it in here, add some salt and pepper, and it will be like an egg wash. We'll dip those in there, dip them in here, put them in here, bake them in the oven at 450 for like 20 minutes or so. I don't know what the seasoning spice blend was, what everything was that was in it, but it smells amazing. Well, those look pretty good. We're gonna pop them in the oven for like 20 minutes. And then, here's the pork patties. Jamie patted them into patty shapes for me. We're gonna cook those. Oh, look, musical oven. We're gonna cook those as well. These, I think it says like five to six minutes on each side. So we're gonna let these go about halfway, then we're gonna put these on. Zucchini fries in the oven. Now heating up the pan to cook the patties. 
I'm excited. This is this. It's, everything already smells really good, so I'm super excited. And I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm one of those people that doesn't always like to try new foods. Like I'm really picky with foods. So the other thing that I think Blue Apron does is it really like puts me outside of my comfort zone to try different things and see if I like them. An example will be barbecue sauce. My entire life, I would only eat open pit barbecue sauce. I never liked any other kind. And then one day I tried a different kind and it was like, I actually kind of like this. I never thought I liked sweet barbecue sauce, but I kind of do. And then I like spicy barbecue sauce. I didn't really know that. So this is kind of like that. It takes me outside of that comfort zone to see if I like other things. What do you think, Miss Memphis? She's like, I'm just waiting for any of this to fall on the floor. Any of it at all could fall and I would just eat it right up. <laughs> Check that out. Pork burger's done. Toast and some buns. Made a little mess, but we'll clean that up. And would you look at that. There we have the finished product. Some barbecue sauce on there. Some smoky ketchup for the zucchini fries. It's time to eat. This looks pretty dang good. Does it look like restaurant quality food right there? Kind of smashed it, but yeah. Well, you gotta smash it to fit it in your mouth. Yeah, it looks good. Think I did good? Oh yeah. What mm -hmm. do you think of those? See, I thought they were interesting. I don't think I've ever had zucchini fries before. Yeah. So, they're pretty good. All right, we're going to enjoy our meal. <laughs> it looks good, it smells good, and I'm hungry. Mm-hmm. So that recipe was definitely a win. That was pretty good. The zucchini fries were a little different, but they were pretty good. So again, thank you to Blue Apron for sponsoring this video. If you guys wanna get your own Blue Apron box, link down below. First 50 people get $50 off their first two weeks. Let me know if you get it. What? Shelby says, I want a zucchini. I gave you a bite of raw zucchini while I was cutting it up and you spit it out. Nobody else was in here, so nobody else got any, but you didn't like it. Oh, would you like your dinner? You want your dinner? Okay, let's eat. Oh, trot, look at her go. You wanna run? She's like, I'm thinking about running. There you go, there you go. Good job, good job, good job. Good job. Are you tired now? How about you? So we just returned from a two mile walk with these girls and before that, Oakley actually did. Oh, look at her napping. Oakley did three quarters of a mile, which is pretty good considering I've only been letting her do half a mile. But she did three quarters of a mile this time. I know. A two mile walk, huh? Yeah, I know. We already went though. <laughs> Memphis is in here like, I'm downing all of the water. <laughs> Look at you. Are you sleepy? Hey, Shelby. Your tongue is sticking out. Do you know your tongue is sticking out? <laughs> She's like, Mom, my tongue's always sticking out. I see you sleepy. There's a sleepy girl. Look at that sleepy girl. She's like, I am so asleep. I'm totally not getting up. Oh, she's dreaming too. Just a little bit. All right. Well, after a fun day, a good dinner, Shelby got to do agility at the dog park. She's like, she's tired. And a good long walk for all of them. Oh, you heard me say walk now. We are calling it a night and going to bed. So if you guys are new to this channel and you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and share it with your friends to help us grow the audience. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again soon. Good night, audience. Memphis is in here. Look at her. She's all snuggled up on that big beanbag chair. She's ready for bed too. Come on, honey. Let's go to bed.